Louisiana Beer Review Special Edition, Samuel Adams Noble Pills Revisited. Hey, it's been almost five years since I had this beer. It's almost 7.30 a.m., which you say, that's so early. Well, not if you've been up since 4.15. I slept in because I... About 3.45 I started kind of waking up and I said, oh, Saturday morning I'll sleep. <clears throat> um, and plus we're going to New Orleans and we're probably going to go to parades. And I'm not going to be drinking beer down there. I never drink really much. Actually, I don't drink beer at all when I go to these parades because um, it makes you go to the bathroom and finding a, a restroom in New Orleans during parades is a, is a problem. The um, Baton Rouge Advocate, well, they expanded into New Orleans last four years. And New Orleans Advocate, they put out these uh, parade bulletins and it's a, some people collect them, I don't, but it's a big uh, kind of heavy stock paper and it shows all the uh, floats. This is the, uh, their theme is the Gods of Carnival and this is the Pygmalion the crew of Pygmalion. Okay, and they have very fancy floats. Very expensive. Uh, this is Caesar. And there, this is in Metairie, a suburb of New Orleans. But Caesar's an old crew. And their theme this year is Caesar's Storybook. So they'll have very, uh, expensive flutes. But I'll probably be going to, af these are nighttime parades, I'll probably be going to the afternoon parades. Um, we'll probably go to um, Pontchartrain, Choctaw, and uh, Ferret. And then tonight there's the Mystic, the Mystic Knights of Sparta, or the Knights of Sparta and the, and the crew of Pygmalion. Okay. Get my notes. I can't remember everything. I wrote it down. It's a lot cloudier out there than I expected, but they said it could get up to about 72 today, so this, the cloud cap may clear. But it's damp. It's 49 degrees and it's damp outside, you know, Louisiana weather, South Louisiana weather. Uh, Noble Pills. When I had this f almost five years ago, I mean, I loved it. I gave it an outstanding score, A+. Plus. Let's see if I'll still think that. It's probably been five years, like I said, since I've actually had it. Because Maria Devon, the girl next door, talks about this. You know, you try a beer, and then you, you say, okay, whatever about it. And then you're on t -t 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 down the road trying everything else, and you don't always go back to it. 4.9% alcohol, so that's relatively mild. 34 international bitterness units, 169 calories. Uh, they use their typical Samuel Adams two-row pale malt blend and Czech Pilsner malt. Now the hops are Haller Tall Middle Fruit, Tetnang Tetnanger, Spaltz, Spalter, Saz, and Hersbrucker hops. Gets a very good score on Beer Advocate. The bros say it's very good, so B+, plus, B+. Plus. 78 out of 100 on Rape Beer. Not the highest, you know, not the greatest score, but then 97 out of 100 for the style. So what they're telling you is, it's a great beer in the style. We don't like the style. <clears throat> Best before uh, May 2016. So we got a lot of time on this one. Um, and it's certified kosher, in case you need to know that. Put it in this Singa glass. Let's check it out. So I'll still only drink four beers today, if I drink that many. And if I only do three, I'll carry one over to tomorrow. You know, have that little 22 to 24 beers per week quota. People ask me that. And that's pretty much how I do it. Um, and I don't exceed the limit. I just, uh, it's a hobby. It's not some kind of... I had people contact me on YouTube telling me, I drank nine last night. And I'm like, huh. I don't drink those kind of volumes. And some people will say, remember back in college, you used to get drunk? I really actually never did that. I didn't even start drinking beer until I was 27 years old. It's golden. It's clear. There may be sediment, but 
like I say, the outside light is not too good. It's a clear golden beer. It looks like you could, somebody might think that was Budweiser if you poured it in there and didn't tell them. Then when they start smelling and tasting it, they wouldn't think that. Um, it's spritzy, you know, it's uh, hoppy, lemony, oily. Little pine, a little bit. Everything's a little bit with this. This whole series so far, the um, winter series, has been like low profile beers. I'm not saying they're bad, they're just low profile in the aroma and flavor and body. So if you're looking for something like really bold, you're going to be really disappointed. And I was telling, I noticed that Jeff, I'm going to have to post this on New England Beer Reviews. I noticed that Jeff Lyons of New England Beer Reviews was drinking Red Hook ESB last night. And I was telling him, I said, yeah. The Red Hook beers, which they have a brewery in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, although they started on the West Coast, I said they um, their beers are like this. They're low profile, so people will, including myself in the past, will accuse their their beer line of being dull. Like they they make dull stuff, dull stuff. But if you start to really look at it a second time or a third time, you'll appreciate it's there. It has like subtle complexities, especially the audible ale. I, I rushed into that and I was giving it a C, saying it was so dull, oh, this beer is dull. And then I revisited a second and third time and I said, oh, no, this thing is, it's got a lot going for it. So I had to do a follow-up video with that Audible Ale. And this is the same type thing. If you don't look at it with the proper perspective, you might discount it unfairly. Yeah, it has that lemony thing, that flowery, floral, however you describe it, and eaten in, in a um, very subtle piney note from all these different hops and uh, these noble hops. And um, some biscuity, cracker, malt note. The body's light to medium and the finishes. You know, pretty crisp. It's refreshing and it's enjoyable here. At like I said, 7:30 in the morning. But um, I had three cups of coffee and <clears throat> some apple juice, so it's gonna work out fine. Um, plus, at 11:30 we're going to get sea seafood platters. <laughs> okay. Um, there's a little oiliness in the body. Interestingly, Chad's beer reviews, he talked about that years ago, six years ago, about seven years ago, maybe about um, Budweiser having an oily body. And it kind of kind of has that uh, nice lacing. It's really nothing like the European beers. I mean, you know, these European Pilsners, it's... Nothing like them. It, it's truly nothing like them, but it's its own character. Um, you don't see it a lot, the Noble Pills. I don't recall seeing it much. I guess it's, uh, I think their production of this is sort of sporadic, but um, I guess I'm not going to go with outstanding A plus this time, but. Um, I think you would have to say it's an A beer. Um, I've been so disappointed with the Boston Lager of the last six months. I keep harping on it, but it just had that <laughs> peculiar cornbread note, which I know that cannot be right. But anyway, this has none of that. This is just really good. Um, yeah, it's uh, <clears throat> for the first beer of the day, morning beer. It's... Um, Solid A. Now, you know, it's making me think, and this is, okay, bear with me. It's making me think a little bit of, like, the, and I'm talking about in the body and the finish part of it, the uh, 
Milwaukee's best ice that I had last night. Um, that was the only beer I had yesterday. What was you know it was a quart can of it. Um, it it the aroma here and the flavor here is you know a lot different. But the uh, finish in the body have a lot of similarities. So if you drink the um, of course that's heavier. But um, about equal in calories. But um, you know, you'll notice some of that dryingness. They they have that drying body and um, finish. So um, it's interesting when you kind of juxtapose those two. Okay, so um, don't want to get too deep into that. But you know, it's it's an interesting. Um, kind of thing to parallel. So anyway, an A beer, good job uh, Boston Beer Company, Samuel Adams, Noble Pills, Laissez Les Bon Ton Le. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to New Orleans or Baton Rouge, but if you want to go to Mardi Gras Carnival Parades, go to New Orleans. And that's it. <laughs>